ready for the start of the IndyCar Series season, and we're going green in St. Pete. That's a, oh, trouble! Around in turn two. Will Power. How about that restart in our ABC side by side coverage? Scott Dixon pulled out four wide. Somehow everybody cycled back in line. And a new leader up at the front of the pack, another one of the young drivers, Jordan King, 24 years old from Warwick, England, in his first IndyCar Series start. Another restart charge down into turn one. Dixon in the orange and blue car squeezing through for some spots. The leader goes wide and a change up front. Wickens back out front after Jordan King overshot the corner. Now the fight for second. Rossi and King. Rossi slides and keeps it off the wall. Direction, but we will see you at Indy. Yes, absolutely. Which is great. I'll be back, no problem. So all the fans are out there. Out there. I'm still coming back, and obviously uh, the Indy, Indy GP and Indy 500. Really intrigue and not knowing much about how long the tire is going to last. Look like Rossi is going to make a move here for the second place. And he did on outside. Go. Great job. Jordan King gives way. Uh, look how the car steps out. Talked about cold tires and how the car doesn't have as much downforce. So many guys looking for opportunities. Oh, oh Dixon, pardon me. Excuse and, me. And Sado, Sado. Sado's coming through. Now he's keeping outside Dixon. They are not wasting any time. Second place. They are really tightly packed up behind him. No, Wickens to the inside. Well, you can't do it any better than that, Racing Scott. entry uh, is the last car on the lead lap. That was Charlie Kimball, who saw them coming and who pulled over. Oh, Did oh, Rossi, Rossi just go, go through in turn four? Green flag, two laps to go. Rossi's close enough. Looking, is looking, it? turn one. And he slides, there's contact. They Wicked have. spins. Bordet goes through. Sebastian Bourdais is leading with Graham Rahal behind him. And when he went, he just went, I'm going. <laughs> kind of like Kanan did at Indy and got away with it. Checkered flag for Sebastian Bourdais. His second win in his hometown of St. Petersburg. Bring the action. Good start, Sebastian Bourdais. Hunter Ray goes wide. Is he too wide? <laughs> Look at Hunter Ray slicing and dicing to the inside of Hinchcliffe. Hunter Ray is on the charge up front. Bourdais trying to check out already. Don't know how much this is going to affect everybody in the field, but Bourdais did one less pace lap than everybody else, and that might pay off in fuel mileage. That would be a big advantage on a road course, but we'll see tonight with tires and fuel burn here. How does Alexander right. Rossi making a move on Newgarden as we ride on board with Hinchcliffe? There goes Newgarden. Oh. Whoa, big move on the outside. He's got Dixon now all over the back room. So we go on board, going for the high line right away. That wheel getting loose around the outside. He didn't have a whole lot of grip with it. He see Will Power and Joseph Newgarden and the green flies. Let's go back to racing in Phoenix. Three wide there. Scott Dixon backing out. Here comes Hunter Ray again to the high side in the yellow DHL car going big. That's been his signature move tonight and it's working. Is Rossi. He has unlapped himself and he has taken off from this whole group of cars. So the fastest guy on track is this guy right here. If we get another yellow, he's going to be back in the mix. This is how he did it. Watch the car zipping by the inside. You could Looking hear in. uh, Hinchcliffe struggling for power inside, down. Inside. Inside. Clear. Hinchcliffe struggling for traction. Rossi worked the low side. Now we're on board with Zach Veach looking backwards at Robert Wiggins. And there goes Rossi. And there was three more car lapped cars in front of him. He's passed all of those guys. Show. The apprenticeship is over for Alexander Rossi. And you know what? I asked him about that. He said, you know what? Townsend's right. He said, we've talked about it long enough. It's time for me to prove it. You can see the determination for that. So young right now, he is by far the fastest guy on the track. It's 
So the easy work of this car. Look Just, at that, that's Tony Kanaan. Yeah, easy work. Blows by Tony Kanaan. And I can They're hope. gonna go down a lap here for sure, but the caution didn't come out when they were hoping for it. And for the various things that have happened tonight, only one caution as Alexander Rossi comes up alongside Ryan hunter Ray, his teammate. There is no stopping Rossi. Look at the speed going into the corner. So he flies. Will it be a Wicked's victory this time round? Rossi goes low to defend on Newgarden, but there's no chance. Look at Newgarden going around the outside of two cars in one corner. There's the answer. Tell you, fresh tires are king. But now he's got to focus. He's got to focus on the car. Oh, Wickens in his first oval race, racing for the win up against the reigning series champion. That is a terrific first lap for Robert Wickens on Another used tires run. with big pickup. Run. Another big run. Here comes oh. Joseph. Big risk for Newgarden to stay up high like this. Is heads up driving from Robert Wickens. First time on an oval. Hinch Hinchcliffe has disappeared. Rossi is now up to third. Oh, big move on the outside. There you go. Reigning series champion takes the lead and takes on. Oh, race now. restart, fresh tires. Joseph Newgarden wins in Phoenix for the first time in his career. Robert Wickens at his first oval race gets on the podium and so too does Alexander Rossi. A two and a half second lead over Will Power and Scott Dixon running third. Here comes Kanan up the inside of Wickens. Oh, they get a hit. He makes it work. Good clean pass, TK. Three lap cars and three people battling for second. Push to pass for board A. Look at this double draft right here. Watch, he's going to slice Piggott. to the outside. Three wide. Oh. Pick it up. In on the, the pillow. Look at that. Board A, what a move. What a pass. Oh. Let's this. ride and enjoy. Well, he did cross over that blue line. I don't know if there's a penalty for that or not. Paul, I've been watching the Long Beach Grand Prix since I was 12 years old, and I have never seen a move like that in turn one that work out. So the boxer up off the push rig. to pass. Yeah. He's and then got hitting him again. He's got to run. And obviously, Bourdais was not happy with that call. He said that was the incorrect call to the team. They said, yep, we know. You heard Craig Whoa, Gibson say. Big breaking maneuver. Let's so do it again. That. And he got the spot back anyway, guys. There you go. How about that? <laughs> Bag of tricks is Ed, Ed now under trip. Uh, uh, Beach looking at a podium right here. Zach Beach has yeah. done an awesome job today. So too has Here he comes. It's Estreni versus Ganassi. Beach pulls out of the draft. Outside up there at turn nine. Nope, that's the yeah. long way around. There's a nope. big angry wall right there. That's as tight as you're oh. ever going to get sideways oh. for Bordet. Doesn't make contact. And if you got a yellow now, that would effectively end the race. Hey, Whoa. he's not, hey, hey. not going to win the race, but driver of the day is Sebastian Bourdais. Okay. And here he gets one of the best wins of his career in his home state. The Long Beach Grand Prix 2018 belongs to Alexander Rossi. What a win. Winner, winner. Good job, good job, buddy. And Will Power will get second and a phenomenal podium for Chip Ganassi Racing's Ed Jones in just his second year. That's DeMello, who was very racy just a lap earlier with Ray Hall. Here comes Piggott up the inside. Oh, jeez, look at that. DeMello just keeps going. Wow. What that a move. It's going to be a big deal as we see how Wickens got by Veach. Turn five, nice and clean up the inside. He's a four-time champion. He's strong and there. you don't want to mess with him. Strong to quite strong, you'd say. Mistake from Zach Veach to get a little wide there, and now you've got the most successful driver in the series coming up the inside to make the pass. In a really strong apex through the time race. Veach here really struggling. This is Marco Andretti, his teammate, looking outside. Veach has got a just packed up with cars. He's still out there struggling around on these reds. And look at sideways laying down tracks out of the corner. He goes Rossi, Rossi on his teammate. Ooh. Thinks about it. So here we see the advantage between new tires and old tires. See Veach so much understeer. He's just pushing way wide. Wickens gets by easily on the inside, but that's the difference right there between new and old tires. This could be a move for eighth position. Dixon is going to the outside. Pagano covers off the line. And Pagano is just about staying ahead. Is he going to force Dixon wide? No, Dixon holds the line for the inside. They've got the fast chicane coming up. Uh, Dixon.
Dixon, I think, is just about going to take the position. Yes, he does. Dixon moves up a position. Now starting to fall. We can't say enough about King. We haven't seen him all day, but he's having a nice day. Right now in sixth as Dixon whistles by him on fresh tires. Inside move, turn five, fairly yeah, straight. Forward. He's going now. He's really had to back the pace up now. It's just so wet. Rooster tails now coming off the back of the cars. And New Garden is on the move. The first on reins. What a shame. What a shame for the Sealmaster team. See where he cycles out. Hunter Ray has already come in. New Garden back to the front. It's very special. Joseph Newgarden feels at home because his real home in Tennessee is not far away. And Joseph Newgarden wins the Honda Indy Grand Prix of Alabama to just put a stamp on it and own this place. Dixon's oh. not done with Bourdais yet. Dixon is all over the back to come to the last couple corners. Dixon slices oh. down the inside. He's going to have the outside line for the next corner. Bourdais will have the advantage, though, in the last corner. There could be contact. Two, no! Two four-time champions. Drag race. Drag race. Who's going to get it? To the line, it's going to be Bourdais. Brilliant stuff. Two four-time champions going at it. Fantastic stuff. They'll always get such a tremendous restart. Bourdais he? could be under pressure from Wickens here. Uh, but he's got the inside line. Wickens, look at this. Let's see if he holds on. No, he lets him through. He doesn't. He holds on all the way around. Now he's got the advantage. So gaining second place back, Robert Wickens. Here's Joseph Newgarden looking to the inside of Bourdais. On the next corner, there is no room for two cars. Power now going towards the inside, trying to make the long way around for Robert Wickens. Was able to outbreak him with those stickier red tires. Turn onto the front stretch here at the speedway. And Power's on the push to pass. Push to pass. He lines him up. Wickens defends on the inside. Now, the only thing Wickens can do is to go as deep as possible. But if he does, he's going to run into him. But he hangs onto it coming out of here. Now watch going into the next corner. He dives on the inside and almost gets around him again. And then it's bye-bye. The driver, you have that little bit of extra grip. You feel more confident under braking as we're going to watch Joseph here try to make the move. Great work by Sebastian going ahead and taking away the inside line. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's... That's, you, that's just probing. That's probing and irritating the car that's in front of you. You were good it, at that. <laughs> and, and there's none of those things that he's doing will stick unless he can get more run, more of a run of like right here. Big again. Breaking again. zone. Newgarden over the curb and around. Oh. And he's going to throw fourth place aside trying to make that move stick. Yeah, 19. Yeah, right he's here. On he's on push to pass. But on the outside. He's trying to combat it with push to pass also, but he got on a little bit oh. too late. Three wide, New Garden trying to make up some lost ground. He'll get around Marco Andretti. Now Hunter Ray with a peek at his Andretti Autosport teammate. Fell behind at a point in the race, kept after it, came back around, and the checkered flag for the third time in five years for Will Power in the IndyCar Grand Prix. Oh, woo. Good job, boys. Oh, my God. Good man, Power. Will Power 12, Simon Pagano and the Neon 22 taking a look for second spot. Penske teammates and Roger said the other day during a press conference, he said, we tell our drivers to take care of each other for the first 180 laps, and there's no team orders. The last 20 laps, you go racing. You got to get to the end, though. There's Pagano again inside of power for second. He'll get that in turn. He starts. Look at these guys on the four abreast, for goodness sake. Dixon's tire might have got sliced by the wing. And he's down by the grass. <laughs> Haven't seen that since Ryan Hunter Ray was making the move and looking on the high side. 
Man, I'm glad I'm in the booth today. Under Ray with a move on Pagano. Pagano fends it off. Castroneves tries to attack. Look at Rossi on the outside. Oh, <laughs> Alexander Rossi with the move of the race. You just don't do that with these new cars. But he did. And we're Four getting, wide. You can tell we're getting towards the end of the race. Flag is back out, Doc. Restart. And Will Power will try to fend off that hungry pack of people behind him. Look at Alexander Rossi trying to fight his way through in that blue and yellow. And he's on the car. high side again. Man, I can't believe he did it. Gonna lose another position to Rossi. Alexander Rossi on the move again on the outside, going for second place on Ed Carpenter. Carpenter not wanting to give in. Rossi is still in Carpenter's gearbox, leaving two. Oh, big slide there for Mateus Laced. Wiggins had to check up. Look at Kanon! Tony Kanon trying to blast his way back toward the front. In the 14 car. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is insane. Who would have thought Alexander Rossi, after a problem in qualifying, would have started in the middle of the last row and now be in third place with 43 laps to go? Very aggressive, just driving the car wherever he wants, high or low. That means the driver has a lot of confidence with the car underneath him. Look at this, down to the grass below Sebastian. Unbelievable. This is the move of the race right here. Look at all these cars he passes on the outside. The outside is slippery, it's full of dust, and he keeps on going and barely makes it. But he does. Our Firestone moment of the race, then the next restart where he tries to go inside of his Andretti Autosport teammate, Hunter Ray, who closes the door. So he goes outside, goes by Hunter Ray in one, and goes by Pagano in two. And look how close those tires are. All this at 215 and 20 miles an hour. And this is the area where everybody has been spinning. <laughs> oh, look at that. How fun is that? He'll never be introduced the same way again. From now on, it'll be Will Power, Indianapolis 500 winner for 2018. Checkered flag, Power and Penske win it.